We are in the home stretch of finding out what education in Arkansas is going to look like next year. As the Supreme Court considers when the Learns Act takes effect, a group has now begun getting voter signatures in hopes of bringing Learns to a vote. THV 11 Sarah Habakowitz has been following the governor's education reform plan. So Sarah, break it down for us. What's next for the Learns Act? And one other quick question. How's this going to impact families? Yeah, Craig, I know a lot of questions about this act are going around right now. Learns itself is hundreds of pages long and addresses nearly every aspect of your child's education from school choice to how they're taught. But the act's path ahead is a complicated one filled with legal processes. One thing is clear, though, both those for and against learns are getting more vocal as the Supreme Court decision gets closer. All those things are currently on hold because I believe people are trying to play political games with our kids' future. At a town hall in Salem Springs Monday, Governor Sanders expressed frustration with the legal action being taken against LEARNS. A group behind the lawsuit delaying the act is the Citizens for Arkansas Public Education and Students, or CAPES, working against LEARNS in more ways than one. For us, we feel like such an impactful piece of legislation really should be put up to the voters. Starting this week, Chair Veronica McLean says CAPES is canvassing Arkansas, looking for signatures to put LEARNS on the 2024 ballot. The official number is 54,422 signatures of registered voters in the state of Arkansas. We are aiming for 90,000 within 50 counties. All of those signatures are due July 31st. McLean hopes to use the weeks leading up to that date to answer any questions Arkansans may have. The LEARNS Act was a large bill, it was 145 pages long, and it was pushed through very quickly. Governor Sanders is also trying to answer questions at town halls, confident in learns and that it will pass. We are simply delaying the inevitable. At this point, uh, we have ongoing litigation. Um, I feel very confident that at the end of the day, the court is gonna rule in our favor. Sarah, when is the next date we'll learn more about the LEARNS Act and how will it impact next school year? Right now, it's kind of in a waiting period trying to determine when it will go into effect. So that's up to the Supreme Court. And the next trial date we can look forward to for more possible answers is June 20th. So we'll have more information then. But if you want to just learn about what's all in the LEARNS Act, we have all that on our website right now. Even though we're looking to June 20th, you get the feeling this is going to be a long process much further down the road than June 20th. It really could be, especially if it goes to a vote. All right. Thank you, Sarah.